Like I'm a pretty me. face, but I can be your wifey. He likes my style, cause I'm pricey. I got your nigga. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Miss Our Fabulous, Pretty Point Any Side. Way, way, and I'm back for another video. Thank you guys so much for your support. I just want to point out there that you guys have been supporting me so much, and we're on roll to 200k subscribers. Before I start this video, I just want to let you guys know, make sure you click the subscribe button to know every time I post a video, okay? Make sure you click that subscribe button, guys. Stay connected with me and follow all my social media handles that will be in the description box below. Let's get right into this video. So I'm going to be talking about my surgery and updates on my surgery and also talking about the last video that I did. So a few months ago, I did a video on YouTube, Beat My, my BBL Regrets, basically telling you guys what I regret about my BBL. I'm be looking on my second phone. Um, basically just like going through a few things that I bullet put I bullet point and stuff just to make sure that you know I'm covering a lot of things so it's no secret that I've done surgery three times and in my last video I wasn't clear about things that I'd done um, I just made it quick and simple like I didn't go into detail about any like certain things basically I did a BBL with a company called Clinic Club UK everybody knows that I did my surgery with that company um, there's no secret. I used to be an ambassador. Somebody made it. Um, somebody made a tweet on Twitter that really upset me. Oh, why was I promoting this company? So I was a um, ambassador for the company at the time, and I used to work for them. I no longer work for this company at all. I just want to make something very clear to every single person that's watching this video is that when I was promoting this company, I had no complications at all when I was promoting them. The moment I started having um, compl complications and the moment I started to notice certain things was wrong with my body the moment I started to notice that their behavior changed towards me I stopped promoting for that company I also stopped working for them the moment I realized certain stuff you guys know me very well on my channel I'm not gonna fake or sugarcoat anything I don't have anything to lose when it comes to this company so I really do not care at this point so just making it clear i don't work for the company anymore so i just want people to understand that i stopped working with them stopped promoting them stopped doing everything that will benefit this company the moment i realized that they didn't care about nobody but themselves and they only cared about taking people's money people care like even me that's an influencer and that has a big platform they didn't care about me either so don't feel like oh because renee is renee's got a platform or renee's uh, renee's known or whatever that they treat me any different no they don't the only thing that i would say is majority of the stuff they did pay for so i would hold my hands up and say yeah when it came to like my hotels stuff like that complimentary food they paid for it but then again it's only because i was pushing their platform we had a really good relationship both ends it's only when i started to realize certain things about the company i took a step back it's only when i started to realize that the company was moving a bit wrong and doing certain things that i didn't agree with and i didn't respect um i then decided no longer to promote this com company i decided no longer to work for the company anymore looking from my first ever youtube video i believe that video was on my youtube january the 23rd so I did my first BBL with Clinic Hub in Turkey. They're based in Istanbul. So I did my first surgery with this company. And I did a standard BBL and arms, okay? That was the only thing that I did when I went to this company. Everything was um, everything was okay at the time. I then got arrested at Heathrow. Everybody knows that situation. I started to see complications and I started to see that certain things wasn't right. Of course, because I caught an infection in one of my left bum cheeks, I had to be rushed into A&E um and i was then put on antibiotics right i explained the point where i said to you guys that obviously my back my fat was damaged and it was killed it didn't make it so that that left a permanent scar on my body after my three months of seeing my results and stuff of course i was not totally healed yet now as a clinic it is your responsibility to let it be known that you are you are not in no state to do surgery again because you've not healed yet now to my understanding, my bum was healed at that time. It was fluffy, it was moving, it was bouncy, it was healed at that time. They asked me to come back to Turkey so that they can rectify the mistake and to fix the problem. At this point in time, I've now done my second BBL. And when I've done my second BBL, they have taken fat, taken out the bad fat that was damaged and they replaced it with more fat. To replace it with more fat, of course, they had to find a bit more fat to put inside of me by doing more lipo at this point. So at the second time I've done it, they've taken more fat out of me to put into my bum, obviously to replace the fat that they took out. Now, when I did my first BBL and I was healing, I realized that they didn't do what they was meant to do. So when I asked for a BBL, in case you don't know, a BBL means 
fat to remove from two areas transferred into your buttocks area now they did they only removed fat from my lower my, my lower abdominal area they didn't move fat from my upper abdominal area 60 i asked for a 360 um liposuction in my stomach or here up and bottom and my back now the clinic only did my lower my lower stomach they didn't do what they was meant to do and they only transferred it to my bum at this point i didn't realize of course i didn't realize you know what i mean like i didn't realize that certain things was not done i only realized when i got back to the uk and days have gone by and i'm changing them and i'm doing my thing having a shower and i'm looking at my body and i'm thinking okay certain things that i asked was not done so i reached out to the director and i said to him um what is this like i've got a dent in my bum i told him the situation he understood obviously i'm not blaming the dent on the surgeon i'm not saying it's their fault at all that i've got a dent because i know what happened to me and it, the situation i was in coming off the plane but i didn't get a 360 lipo and that is what i asked for and i didn't get it so the second time that i went to turkey i had to correct all those things um people are just thinking when they got lost in the source and she's just out here doing surgery for the sake of doing surgery no i the second time that i went to turkey i specifically i specifically went to turkey for them to correct their mistakes that they didn't do so that was them doing the upper abdominal area so i didn't have no fat underneath here i didn't have no fat underneath my lower abdominal area but at the top sections all the way i had so much fat and i just didn't understand so went back they removed those they did a 360 live they basically just did the top um, abdominal and the top back area that's what they did those fat they took it and put it into my bum um i just want to make something really clear my relationship that i had with the clinic they treated me really really good in the beginning now when i was doing things for them eg promoting their um page doing my youtube videos of course they treated me really well um and that's because i was advertising their company i was promoting their company i was pushing their page okay so that's the reason why they obviously made sure i was a priority now i don't condone them not um treating everybody else the same i think it's totally wrong for you to treat one person completely different and then you have thousands of patients that you are neglecting completely wrong okay and i'm, I'm against that i don't condone that kind of shit you i'm coming from because people are out here saying that Renee wasn't doing aftercare yes i was doing my aftercare who are you to tell me i wasn't doing aftercare you ain't in my house 24 7 you don't live with me so make it make sense and because what you see on social media you lot are running with okay i've seen her do shisha i've seen her do that i saw her do this okay i'm human i've got a life to live but if i'm paying for something and i want something to be done i expect it to be done if i'm working for your company and you're do um, i'm getting paid or whatever the situation is right whatever i said i wanted and you as a company has agreed to give me that right should have been done okay every time i've sat down with the surgeon i was very clear on what i wanted like i've got a mouth like i'm not a stupid girl do you know i'm coming from i'm very clear about what the things that i want in my life so every time i sat down with my surgeon who you all knew was dr Furkan at the time okay he has done all my surgeries for me and every time i've sat down with him i was very direct to what i wanted from the first bbl i was direct that was a failed bbl because they didn't give me what i wanted the second bbl right them correct them correcting um correcting their mistake they had to correct their mistake because there was no way I was going to be okay with the way I looked when they didn't do what they was meant to do the first time. Now, when they corrected their mistake, however, I was very, very I was very clear to them asking them, I want my bum to be round and to have that kind of um, crease at the bottom. Now, the second BBL, my bum didn't have any crease at the bottom. When I fully, when I, when my bum was fully healed and I took pictures of my bum and I sent it to the surgeon, I said, what is this? This is disgusting. I'm not happy with that look. And I specifically marked it and said to them, I'm not happy with this. This is the second time and I don't want to be going under the knife again. It's, it's not right. Like, I don't want to put myself through that. Then they called me. We had a phone conversation and they said, we will get you on the next flight out. We will get you on the next flight out to correct that. They knew what they did was completely wrong. And they knew from time, every time that I've done surgery with them, they wasn't pulling their weight at their end. Do you get what I'm coming from? Now, the third BBL, the only thing that I went back to the, the only thing that I went and got done the third time was for them to put fat underneath. 
nothing was done at the top they didn't touch the top they didn't touch nowhere else they only put that underneath there was so much pro um, project here on the two bum cheeks but there was nothing underneath here i was walking around like a flat ass pancake down the bottom like you look at my bum and you just think what the fuck is that that's dead then the third time i did surgery guys was to correct another mistake because what i asked for once again i did not get it now there was no project underneath the bum there was so much here but you couldn't see nothing there it was disgusting if i could show you guys pictures you'll be fun you'll be like what is that that's dead like, i laugh at them because it's like it's a waste of time waste of money it's just stress like honestly it's just that you don't need do you know what i mean BBL, i wouldn't say it, i did a whole bbl like i said to you guys before they only did a little bit little bit they only put like less less than 400 cc underneath the bottom and that's all they touch i was literally up and walking the next day like the same day like i was fine do you know what i mean because they didn't do major surgery that day so this is me explaining to you guys everything that i've done with the clinic now let's move on to my thigh and why my thigh is the way it is not once have i ever asked this company to put fat in my thigh i never asked them to touch my thigh why are you touching my thigh i never asked you to do these kind of things you can come from and i love my thighs because i've got big lovely thighs so i would never ask them to touch my thigh now when i did my youtube video i stated that it wasn't the clinic's fault that by then i only did a few hospital appointments nothing was handed back to me with regards to my thigh to say that i had fat in my thigh or whatever now talking about it i'm going to be very honest with you guys because i feel like this is something that a lot of people need to understand that surgery is not a joke and i don't know how many times i'm going to keep saying that it's not a joke and young girls you don't need to literally understand that you're putting your life at risk one you don't understand that there's so many complications that you might face nine out of ten girls that have done surgery are not happy with every single thing about their body that is why they go back for round two round three don't let social media people fool you don't let these girls with bbls fool you thinking oh i've only done surgery one time and my body was at 10 10 allow it that you've done surgery multiple times to get your body to where it is today do you get i'm coming from you didn't do one round and you got the most banging bbl no you did surgery a lot just to get your body like that do you get where i'm coming from i've done it so many times to try and get my body like that unfortunately this clinic couldn't couldn't come through with it do you get where i'm coming from now me having a swollen thigh, my thigh is really bad. Do you get I'm coming from? I've learned to embrace it. I don't care. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel bad for it anymore because this is something that I've had to live with for a very, very long time. Do you get I'm coming from? In the beginning, I wasn't happy. I was stressed. It was messing with my mental health. It was fucking me up. There's days where I can't physically get up out of my bed to even walk into my house because my fire starts swelling, it starts burning, it's a fobbing pain, it's disgusting, do you know I'm coming from? I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, do you know I'm coming from? So it's a thing where it's like, you've put something in my fire, I've only received my documents from my hospital, um, from the hospital in, in London, like less than a week ago because like i said to you guys i'm preparing myself um and i'm trying to sort myself out for my surgery that i've got coming in a few months so i'm trying to get things into place and stuff in order for me to go away to get my surgery done i need my documents from the um the clinic in istanbul however they have been delaying me getting my documents um because i posted a, that post on instagram and on twitter they have felt some type of way and the director was like to me um why did i not come to him and speak to him about it why is it that i have to speak to you about every single surgery you have done for me every surgery you have done for me that all three surgery has been a failed none of them has been successful they've all been disgusting i've not been happy ever since i've done surgery the time the moment i decided to put myself on that table i've never been happy about it do you get i'm coming from but it's something i have to live with because i'm a grown-ass woman I make my I make my mistakes. Nobody makes my mistakes for me. I do it. So I take accountability for the things I've done. To anybody that I have influenced to go get surgery, I want to literally say I'm absolutely so sorry. And at the end of the day, I didn't know that this company was so bad and so toxic. I didn't know that this company only cares about themselves and about the money. I didn't know that this company speaks to people like trash. I also didn't know that this company does not give two fucks about you. Once you've given your money and you've done your surgery, you're neglected. I didn't know that. And if I knew that, hands on my heart, I would never ever have spoken or even decided to do surgery with them. I also want you guys to also understand the moment I realized that they started moving different and they started jumping into girls dms telling girls that they will look a better way if they got surgery done that's when i said no i'm not about to be a face of your brand i'm not about to represent your brand because 
of the sake of getting free stuff or getting complimentary days or 50 percent off of surgeries i'm not going to be that and i don't want that so i want to say a big apology to every single girl that i've offended that i've influenced to go do surgery don't do it do you know i'm not going to sit here and say you know surgery um no girl should ever get surgery done at the end of the day you're a grown-ass woman do you get i'm coming from you live your life how you want to live your life. I can't force you to do something you don't know you don't want to do. And I'm not going to hold something on your head and say, you must do this right now. No. If you want to do it, that's totally up to you. But I would recommend people not to do surgery unless they need to do it, or unless it's a life or death situation where they have to go on the table. But every single BBL that I've had has been a failed. I've always done my massages. One thing about me as well, in case you didn't know, I actually love doing these massages. Every time I would do my massages, I would fall asleep on the table, on the on the massage table. I loved it. Like after aftercare for me was the best thing. I enjoyed doing it. Always, I always wore my faha. People want to say Renee didn't wear her faha. How do you know this? I wore my faha. I'm entitled to wear my faha up to eight to twenty three hours a day. Do you get where I'm coming from? If you see me out of it for two, three hours, what does that mean? Do you get where I'm coming from? Like, as soon as I get home, I jump back into my faha, wear my faha. Every time I go to sleep, I'm always wearing it. So the things that I'm hearing, I actually, at this point, do not give a toss. Do you realise that I was getting complications? I stopped promoting the clinic. I, lo I, lo I no longer started working with the... Um, no longer started posting about my surgery. To the point where... They even asked me to do a breast video and I said to them, I didn't want to do it because like I said to you guys before, when I did my boobs, I did notice complications with my body, not my boobs, my body. And I didn't want to promote something that I know in my heart, I'm not happy with. I didn't want to talk about my BBL in a positive light, knowing that it's botched and it's not how it's meant to be. And I didn't want to be that fake influencer to you guys that know me for being so real and transparent. At the end of the day, I don't care about what anybody thinks about me. I don't live to please you motherfuckers. And I'm going to be so real because people think, okay, Renee gets up in the morning and, you know, she's this kind of person. You don't know my life. I, sh I show you guys what I want to show you guys. I don't have to come on social media and tell you guys about what I'm going through off camera or in my personal life beyond doors. But me telling you guys my story is because I need you young girls to understand that don't do surgery if you it's not a life and death emergency. Because at the end of the day, take your ass to that fucking gym and do 20 push-ups and work your ass off. And if I knew what I knew now, I would never have done a BBL. And that's on my life. I would never have done it. Do you get what I'm coming from? Because i rather cry, give up, cry sweat, blood and tears to get my abs and to get that bum the right way than being a lazy bitch and going on the table because you can't be asked to go in the gym because you want the easy way out and now look you're suffering from complications and all this shit so I, I hold my hands up I don't want sympathy from anybody because like I said to you guys before I know what I got myself into but I don't respect the company for lying I don't respect them for the way they have treated other people it's not just about me it's about those girls over 20 girls came into my dm about the same clinic and have spoken about the clinic and have sent me so much evidence and so much proof of how botched they are and how the clinic took their money didn't care about them neglected them i've got girls crying tears in my dms sending me voice notes crying telling me they're in so much pain and this video is for you girls because something needs to be done do you get what i'm coming from and it's not fair that People are spending so much money on surgeries and not getting the good aftercare, not getting the assistant that they needed, not even getting help from surgeons that, you know, should be doing follow-ups, checkups. Like, this shit is just, it's ridiculous to me. So happy that I'm able to help you guys and I will carry on doing what I have to do to carry on um, making sure that you, your story is heard. I'm going to insert a few pictures and a few screenshots that these girls have sent to me so that obviously people that are watching this understand that this ain't a joke.
like they became some form of enemy to me like they didn't like me they hated me now do you get i'm coming from the like i had to watch them say oh you chose what side you wanted to be on and then consistently comparing me to, to another influencer that that also is an ambassador for the um, for the company and i would get to compared to her all the time okay but this person didn't need this person spoke to us privately about this she didn't drop us out so why is it that you're dropping us out oh you chose what side you wanted to be on i had to hear these things but i'm sorry i'm a grown-ass woman if i don't want to work for your company no more i'm not going to work for my company your company no more i don't care about money i don't care about 50 percent off fuck your 50 percent off because you made my leg botched anyway so what is that to me you're shit do you get where i'm coming from so all you girls that think oh plastic surgery is an easy thing to do with or the bbo is an easy thing no it's not easy understand if there's a lot to it that you don't even know do you understand what i'm saying i'm gonna insert pictures of my thighs if you have not seen how my thigh looks right now my fire is really bad and at this point you know like i said you guys i'm going to one of the top of surgery to get it that scale sorted i like even thinking about it one thing i could say the best thing i've ever done out of every surgery that i've ever done or anything that i've gone to turkey to do is my teeth me doing my teeth with a company called clinic was the best thing i've ever done my teeth was no complications no problems never fell out never it was never hard for me to eat it was a smooth fucking sailing the communications the aftercare the update the consistent messages from clinic to how clinic hub treated me was completely different the moment i dropped that company company they di literally didn't give a fuck about me no more when i stopped promoting for them when i stopped um showing them love when i stopped being there whatever whatever they didn't care about me no more i was just like this i was just another person that they just basically used and threw out do you get i'm coming from my teeth with clinique was the best thing ever when they found out that i went to clinique to get my teeth done they was very disrespectful to me how could you go to them they're competitors da, 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 da. But um, why are you upset? Because I no longer work for you guys. I don't, I can do what the fuck I want to do. I don't have a contract that says I can't work with other people. I don't have a contract by you that says I can't do this and I can't do that. You're not, you don't own me. Understand, I've always, from the get-go, I've always kept it real and I've always said to you guys, I don't want anybody to follow me to go and do surgery. I'm doing this because I want to do it. So I've always taken accountability for the things I wanted to do. Not because I'm trying to sell something. I've apologised to all the girls that have influenced. And because they've seen me gone to this clinic, they have now decided I'm going to go to this clinic. I am so sorry. I didn't know this company was like this. If any, if, if any girls came to me sooner and told me, Renee, oh my gosh, like the company's like this, I would, I would have acted on the situation because I don't tolerate bullshit like that. Do you get where I'm coming from? All I can say is do what you have to do to protect yourself. Do what you have to do to make sure you get what you deserve because Clinic Hub is not the clinic. Like I wouldn't recommend anybody to go to that clinic. The from time I found out that this company put fat into my thigh that has lied and said to me they didn't do that that they didn't touch my fire they also blamed it on me and said oh you didn't follow aftercare treatment you didn't take your health seriously you didn't it's your responsibility it's bullshit to me i never asked you to put anything in my leg and that is the point i'm trying to make to you if i didn't follow aftercare there's no reason for my leg to be swollen if you did not touch that area. And this is my point. When I came out of surgery the third time and I realised my thigh was all bruised up, I asked the surgeon, why is my thigh bruised up? Like they always say to me, it's normal. Every time I'm in pain, it's normal. Every time I've messaged them and called them on the phone and I've told them my issue, it's always, it's normal. Why is it that every time I say to you I'm in pain, it's fucking normal? Like... Being in pain is not normal. You don't say being in pain is normal. That's how I knew something was dodgy. I'm waking up and I'm seeing bruises all on my leg. And I'm telling you, why is my leg like that? My leg is burning me. My leg is throbbing. My leg is hurting me. You're telling me it's normal. No, you injected something in my thigh that you know you shouldn't have done. And now that I'm asking you for my documentations that the hospital needs in order for me to go away and get my health sorted out, it's now i wish you came to me directly and spoke to me instead of taking this to social media but because you care about your reputation because you care about how you look fuck how you look and fuck your reputation i don't care because you out here killing girls off trying to get girls bodies to look like garbage and yet you won't post these girls because you know you messed up 
but you don't care, you don't want to rectify, you don't even feel like refunding these girls that have spent so much money and have come to your come to your um, clinic that's been neglected in hospitals, that's been left with no food, no water, that has messaged you guys on WhatsApp several times and you lot don't pick up the phone, that have asked you guys for help, you lot don't come pick up the phone, that has asked you guys to come and help them for painkillers, you lot don't give them painkillers. They have to wait three to five hours for them to get painkillers. And if I knew this shit, trust and believe me, I would never have even thought of going to this clinic. For any harm that I've caused or any inference I've caused to you lot to go and do surgery, please, I'm not your role models. Don't look up to me in that kind of sense. I'm just a normal girl. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, I'm just a normal girl. I live my life, I just do me. I'm not perfect, I'm imperfect to be perfect. You know what I mean, if that even makes sense. That's just me. I'm Renee, do you know what I mean? And those that have been with me on my channel, on my journey, know the real me and how I am. Like, please. At the end of the day, do what makes you guys happy. Like, how can you say that? A woman has come forward and told you she almost died and you're fucking sitting there asking her, is she dead? Like, it's disrespectful. And the way he said it as well. And this is a director that is, is based in the UK. This man is based in the UK and he travels to Turkey all the time. Do you know what I mean? To obviously go back to the clinic. It's then again, it's just disrespectful. And something needs to be done. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this video helped and explained a lot of details. Like I said to you guys before, I will be going off to get my surgery done the right way. I think this surgery is, is something I want to keep very secretive. I want to keep very quiet about it. Um, and I just don't want to talk about it. I'm not talking about my last surgery. I'm not talking about what's going to be done. Like I said to you guys, fat was injected to my thigh and I didn't know. Um, the hospital didn't know until I went back a week ago and got my last test and my last scan. So I've only got those details and how bad it is and how severe the pains are. So that's the update right now that, you know, I'm back and forth from hospital. I'm on a medication. I'm taking my tablets. I'm eating clean. I don't really eat too much. I've lost a lot of weight in case you don't know. I've lost a lot of weight and I'm drinking and cleansing a lot. So I'm just taking care of myself mentally and physically and getting myself back to how I need to be um so basically that is what i'm doing right now i'm fighting a lot of stuff and i really hope that this video can help thousands of girls to understand surgery is not something you can just pick yourself up and go and get done tomorrow this is a life changing shit it's a hit and miss for some people and i really hope that this video has helped you guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you stay connected follow all my social media handles they'll all be in the details down below make sure you subscribe so you know my updates i would be documenting recording my journey recording my the updates on my journey from being botched so literally make sure that you are following me and stay connected thank you guys so much for watching i see you in my next video bye guys